So your dog digs in the garden. They dig holes in the lawn. They try and dig holes under the fence. They even get in your plant pots and they dig. You know it, yeah. YouTube. We've been here. We've done this. We've seen it. We've absolutely experienced the yeah. joy of digging. So today's episode is dedicated to our top tips on transforming a dog that digs in the garden to instead a dog that does not dig in the garden. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure to do so. And make sure to leave comments under the videos with what you'd love us to tackle next. If you haven't already shared some of our videos, we want you to share them. Remember, this makes dog ownership worldwide more enjoyable because people around you, they're gonna get this vibe. Now digging, she has definitely been digging. I've brought her out with me uh, here for the minute to talk it through really. Yeah. Because actually digging has been a bit of a struggle. I think some people would think that they only dig when actually um, they're bored. But I actually think that digging can quite quickly become something a dog learns. Yeah. And so before she learns it, she's just a puppy. So Nifty's only a baby. Before she learns this and it becomes sort of a real habit, mm -hmm. actually, is there something I can do about this? Yeah. And I think that's the very common struggle that our Ask team, our super cool team uh, back here uh, at Absolute Dogs HQ, they get it all the time, Tom. It's a yeah. question we get asked so frequently. And so the first tip that we've got for you, and this is absolutely crucial, is that often digging becomes quite a rehearsed behavior. You know, a little bit like you pushing a supermarket car around the supermarket, you're putting things into that car, you're not thinking, oh, I want a cucumber, I want some broccoli. Instead, you're just going on autopilot. That's what you do there, right? You always pick up the cucumber, you always pick up the broccoli. And it's exactly the same with our dogs. And so we've got to tip the balance on rehearsal and don't don't worry if your dog's rehearsed this for a decade. It does not matter. What we're going to do for the next three weeks is we are going to take our dog into the garden on lead to toilet. So on lead means that actually they're not going to be able to dig. This is going to tip the balance away from digging. And what we then might start to think about is, well, what would we like them to do instead in the garden? And actually, here's where Nifty would like to show you just one of the things yeah. that we might do instead in the garden. Now, obviously, you can use a bed or something like this. It could be really even a vegetable box. Yeah. It's something that's appropriate for your garden. And this is what I choose for you to do in the garden. So I choose for you to play games like this in the garden instead of the um, the crazy hoolies that you're playing at the moment, which yeah. actually uh, I don't want to encourage and I don't want to necessarily increase. So actually, Boundary Games. Now, if you're part of our Training Academy, Boundary Games is a bonus to the Training Academy. Oh my! Hello! <laughs> We're suddenly very excited she about boundary, boundary Games. Game. Boundary Games made her very high. Uh, and actually, what I would say to all of you guys, and I think this is really important, is actually that Boundary Games are a way of life. And as you can see, for Nifty, who's just a puppy, actually, these are something that we can grow all the way through, garden and in the Absolutely. house. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it's so straightforward. All you're going to do is you're going to pick you know a, an area for your dog to spend some time on like a bed or you know a boundary or a box as, as Lauren says and you're just going to pay some of their daily food allowance onto that and what you want to do is put loads of value onto that bed so that imagine the scenario where your dog steps into the garden environment they see the hole they could dig they see the bed they think, I've got more value for going on the bed. They go and get on the bed and you get the opportunity to reward them. Now, very quick top up, just one little game. All I might do to start this off, ready, get it, is actually try and build some want to be on the boundary, yeah. get it? Now, we've got lots of videos on boundary games, even here on YouTube, right, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. And that leads on to the third tip that we've got for you. And that is that a calm dog is not a digging dog. So the more we inspire calmness in our dogs in the context of the garden, the less likely they are to now, dig. We hear you. We absolutely hear you. You just see Nifty. It's in there to want to go zooming. It's in there to want to race around. Yeah. And yes, we're definitely managing that excitement with part of her daily food on a day-to-day -day basis. So don't feel bad for doing that. For yeah. me, this is just part of how Nifty gets, that's interesting, Nifty gets her food on a day-to-day -day basis. Calmness is something we grow. Please don't expect yeah. us to have the finished 
project today. So if you're worried that your dog isn't doing it just yet, don't worry, it's a journey, yeah. not an immediate, this is gonna happen today. Now we've got something really cool for you and that is a video tutorial on how to teach your dog calmness at home, in the garden, on walks. It's utilizing something called the calmness triad or the calmness wheel. And below this video, you are gonna find an episode of Absolute Dogs TV that is a deep dive into this. This has transformed millions of dogs all over the world, this teaching, and you can implement it today through the link below in the description. Leave us a comment of what you would like us to tackle next in terms of struggles. Make sure to hit subscribe and we will see you next time. Remember game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.